Cool. Ian Moore. You can't go wrong with Ian Moore. He's going out on tour starting August 9th with Texas's own ZZ Top. ZZ Top. And Ian Moore is opening for him. So I hope you enjoy that. Uh, that was Harlem from his debut Capricorn release. Uh, I understand there's like a four or five song EP coming out that was recorded live at Steamboat. Maybe some of you folks went and saw that fine show, as every Ian Moore show is a fine show. And you're watching Capsize. I wanted to come out here one more time and chat with you, let you know a little later tonight. We've got the guys from Seed coming out to join us live in the studio. Uh, they got an album out on Mechanic Giant Records called Ling, their debut release. Got a lot of great songs on it, and uh, heck, you ought to listen to it. We're going to play some seed video later, so stay tuned for that. And I uh, want to say thanks to everybody tonight. Thanks for Loopy for the mention of the seed. You guys uh, like country music, flick it on over to 16. If you don't want to hear me yap, then I'm sure you'll get your eye full on that wonderful V-Line Productions. I'm sure it's all your favorite, uh, favorite show. Thanks to everybody for voting in the uh, Best of Austin issue coming out soon. Look for it and uh, pick your favorite. See if your vote won. Hope it did. Um, we're going to take some calls, so stand by for that. I've got a lot of you people on hold. Appreciate you watching the show. It's uh, about Texas music, and we're here for about 34 more minutes. So I hope you can stand it. Uh, we've got some video coming up from a, a wonderful guy, one heck of a guy, uh, a man named Hamill, Hamill on Trial. Recently saw him at the Cactus Cafe opening for uh, Mila. So maybe you guys caught that show. He brought the house down. And, uh, you know, you can catch him all over town at least couple times a week and I understand there's a great write-up uh, in the Statesman I believe in the Statesman today so uh, pick that up we're gonna take phone calls though um, so we'll start with that now what's up you're on capsize hello hello what's up you and me man so you're the coolest motherfucker dude for real cool cool dude, hey what's up you tell me man what's going on hey man y'all gonna play hey play some Alice in Chains dude uh, I wish I could I don't have any here for you man oh. Oh, man. Uh, we, we got some prong and some sepulchre and pantera coming up later. Pantera is badass, dude. Did you go see them? Hey, no. Oh. Hey, but listen. This is, this is badass, dude. Cool, man. Huh? Y'all up partying on a Saturday night, huh? Yeah, man. That's Kicking cool. over here, dude. Cool. Hey, come over here. Uh, I'm, I'm a working man. I got to do this just so you guys will watch. Oh. We got hey. Seed coming out later. We're going to talk to these guys in the band Seed here hey. in a little while. Well, yeah. Hey, man, you guys are cool, dude. Hey, you're cool for watching, man. <laughs> Later, dude. Later. Thanks for the call. Uh, I want to remind everybody once again, thanks uh, to Andre for telling me about this, Fat Joe, Diggable Planets, and Nasty Nas. What? Catfish Station this Wednesday. Fat Joe, Diggable Planets, and Nasty Nas. Go check that out, or don't do anything for the rest of your life. Uh, let's... Go back to calls. I know you guys like it. What's up? All right, man. Not much. What's going on? Oh, hanging out, man. Hey, that was a killer show tonight at the Meadows. All right, man. Oh, yeah. Bunch of people? Yeah, it was quite a few. Cool. Cool. Probably the most evil pit yet. Yeah. <laughs> that did it, did it turn to mud? No, they actually have a cement uh, foundation. There you go. Very cool. Yeah, and Phil got his uh, fill of the weed tonight, of course. <laughs> But, uh, hey, are you doing a uh, raw time later on? Yeah, 2 o'clock. Uh, we got raw time coming for you. All right. I uh, saw that Skate Nicks video you had on. Cool. Those guys are bad, man. Did you see them at that uh, sewer place? Yeah, I, miss, I saw them at the back room, but I missed them at the sewer. Yeah. I heard it was a monster show. It was real good. Cool. <laughs> well, thanks for the call, man. All right, man. See ya. What's up? Oh, man, don't hang up. Capsize. Hello? Hello. Hey. Uh, are you going to play the seed video from the one where they come out in MTV? That's the one you're going to play? The Rapture song? Yeah. Yeah. All right. Cool. You got it. You're going to play the Pariah along with them right after them, right? If, if I can find it. I was looking for it, man, and I couldn't find that dang thing. So I'm going to see if I've got any other Pariah stuff back there and try yeah, to get it on. Yeah, any man. Pariah would do. If, right. You know, preferably anesthesia. Right, right. Cool. Okay. Uh, if I can't find that tonight, man, I promise it'll be on next Saturday night. But I, I was having it. trouble finding it back there, man. So. Hey, do you know Brock? From Z-Rock. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, he's my roommate. Oh, man, Z-Rock rules. Brock yeah, rules. Yeah, I know, man. He's, hopefully, I'll be going to go see Metallica. Ah, cool. He'll be taking me. Yeah, I heard... Uh, Are you going to be out there? Yeah, sure well, I am. Well, you know, I'll, I'll introduce myself. I'll, I'll find you out there. All right, I'll man. Go, go ahead and talk to you and in, introduce myself. That'll be cool. 
All right. Be there all day, all night. All right. No, I'll be there for sure. I already got off on both jobs, so. All right. <laughs> all right. Cool. See you later. All right. See ya. Uh, let's see. Hello. You're on Captain. My neighbor's dog is a two-inch clit. Hmm, I'm I'm really happy for you. Hi, you're on Capsize. Hello. Hello. Oh, uh, uh. <laughs> that was cool, Peter. Hi. No. Oh. No, you stop. Hello. Hi. Yeah. What rock videos do you have for the next bag of it? Um, improve that accent and call back later. Try English or Australian. Capsize, you're on the air. Dave. Yeah. How you doing this evening? I'm all right. How's it going? Uh, just fine. I wanted to ask you about Avalon. Oh, yeah. The guys you uh, advertise, or ladies, I got, rather. I got, I got a ticket left. <laughs> well, actually, I've got some of those in my I'm cool. giving them away. I'm playing the Mickey Finns. Oh, all right. Cool. Yeah, I was going to invite you and all your friends to come on down. Cool. I guess Nine I'll this one, huh? Yeah, great, cool. man. We, um, well, with Avalon, what do they sound like? Well, it's hard to say because they're so eclectic. They've got uh, a really full keyboard kind of a sound, but yet they've got the driving guitar and drums behind all of that. Like a, something like a curve? I mean, no, no. Um, the closest thing I could compare it to would be the feelings that you get from something like um, King's X or Galactic Cowboys or something. Oh, uh, I got you. That's yeah. cool. That's all right. cool, man. Oh, shoot. So uh, what about Pantera? You can play some more later, huh? Yeah, we're going to play Five Minutes Alone in about half an hour. Cut out. Yep. <laughs> All right, man. You take it out, and uh, hopefully we'll see you down at Steamboat. Man. Cool, man. All right, take thanks, it easy, Dave. Thanks for watching. Bye-bye. So uh, that was a guy from the Mickey Fins. They'll be playing with Avalon August 2nd, Tuesday, at Steamboat. And we have a ticket left for that if anybody wants it. Uh, all right. What's up? You're on Capsize. Yeah, correct me if I'm wrong, but uh, did I hear Born to be Wild in the... Uh, Patches to Paradise. <laughs> sure, why not? Hex. Who knows? Maybe you did. What's up? You're on Capsize. Hello. Hello. Um, what Sepultura video are you going to play? Slave New World. Oh, okay. Okay. Were you at their concert? No, I wasn't. Oh, okay. Were you? Yeah. Did you like it? Yeah. Were you in the pit? No. <laughs> so that's why you're speaking still? Yeah. Good. Good to hear. Thanks for the call. Okay. Cool. I think he was a little sedate. Hello? 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 Oh, what kind of music are you playing? Loud. Loud? Mm -hmm. No, we play, all so we, we play all sorts of stuff. We play everything from uh, rap and hip hop to alternative to heavy metal and country and bluegrass and, you know, everything in between. Play hip hop. We got the new and Warren. Rap. How about the new Warren G video? We got that yeah. one later. Yeah, yeah. All yeah. right. Keep watching, you'll see it. Okay. All right. Bye. Bye. Capsize. Dave. Yes. This is Linda from Avalon. Hey there. How are you? I'm fine. How are you doing? I'm doing okay. Well, doing thanks okay. for the, the plug sure. and holding up our poster and everything. Oh, it's a great poster. Boy, that's nice. Thanks. That good old really Kinko's. Nice. It's our second home. There you go, right? Don't yep. we all? Don't we all live at Kinko's? Are you going to be able to make it to the show? Uh, I hope th this one here, the second. Yeah. I, I don't know. If it is, I'm going to be like in for probably like half your set, and then I'll have to run because I'm working. But uh, you Well, know, you'll see us at the end of the month anyway. Exactly. We're yeah. having a great time. As for that guy calling and asking what we sound like, mm -hmm. <clears throat> there's no electric guitar in it, but it doesn't need it. Hmm. It's heavy. Well, I thought it was kind of like the Velvet Hammer thing. But yeah, I, it I, is, but in, in the Velvet Hammer video that you have at the station, it's not... The, the electric guitarist is not in this incarnation. Gotcha. Well, there so you go. So we've gone back to the four-piece, which is what Velvet Hammer was for the first year. Okay. And um, I don't know. I don't know what you'd call it either. Nobody knows how to label it. Oh, I hate Tori labels. Amos, Tori Amos meets King's X. Right. Well, I hate labels anyway. Because, I do too. You know, you can't, you know, first time you lay a label on yourself, you're going to break it. That's true, <laughs> and know, so. that's the trouble that we had with record labels in Velvet Hammer was that they tried to put us in a box, and, and we said, we don't go in the box with the Go-Go's or the Bangles just because we happen to be all female. Right. So they didn't know what to do with us. Yeah, well, you know. But well, well, thank anyway, you, for, you know? thanks for plugging it, and sure. our tape's out, and it's getting around town now, and uh, we're having a blast. And, and we're going to see you here on the 27th. That's right. All right. We are. Dana says hi. All right. Very cool. I'm very much looking forward to seeing y'all so I can maybe better describe to somebody because it's like, well, I don't yeah. know. Yeah. I'll be interested. Well, it's kind of like Das Millard, but with, uh, you know, like the tapes that we gave you of Das Millard. Yep. Yep. It's kind of like that, but with all the other parts added. Cool. 
So we're well, looking I'm forward to, to it. it. So hopefully I'll be able to check you out Tuesday. So yeah, uh, I hope you I'll can. See, maybe I'll see you early there. Okay. All right. Bye bye. Bye bye. So uh, y'all go out to Steamboat on Tuesday. We're going to take some more calls, probably four or so. I don't know. Depends on what you people got to talk about. But uh, we've got all sorts of stuff to come, so stay tuned. What's up? You're on what, Capsize. What's up? How's it going? Oh, I just wanted, uh, do you jack off? Well, you know, not lately, but next time I do, I'll think of you. Capsize. Hello. Hello. Hey, what's up, man? I'm proud of you, Dave. I'm serious. I was down here in Texas three years ago, and I saw you on the show, like, late at night. Cool. From Southern California. Wow. I've been uh, tr checking out your videos and going to local shows like Emo's. Right. And I was just uh, a couple weeks ago, I saw Guttermouth and Offspring, some, uh, some bands that I'm, I'm used to, like uh, Southern California, uh, um, Orange County kind of stuff. Mm -hmm. I'm pretty, it's pretty cool down here in Texas, man. I like it. I love it, and man. And your show here is pretty cool, too. I was, okay. I, was in the, I was in some pits and stuff. I saw Pantera tonight. Cool. It's not really as violent down here, you know. I didn't see any broken bones, any blood, anything, so I was kind of disappointed. Yeah. But, well, uh, you know, last time I went and saw some uh, live uh, music, shall we say, with a pit, there was plenty of blood, so... You know, you just got, I guess, got to go to the right one if that's what you're looking for, huh? Yeah, you, you need to play a little bit more punk here. You know, you got all these people coming in calling lots of different varieties, and I like a lot, you know, like heavy metal and stuff, and your show's cool. I, I'm just kind of sucked that you got a bunch of little dickheads that a little fucker just called right now. <laughs> well, you know, you know, they got to do something. They've got that free hand, and it's driving them crazy. Yeah. So. Well, you keep up the good work, man. It's pretty Thanks. cool. And you're, hard, you're a hard bastard to get a hold of, man. You're <laughs> well, popular here in Austin, man. If I, I see you around, it. I'm going to shake your hand, all right? All right, man. All I right, man. To it. Take it easy. Thanks for the call. Appreciate all you uh, trying to get through. I know we only have like four lines, and they're usually pretty busy. And uh, all you people waiting, you can talk to each other while you wait. You know that, don't you? So talk to each other, all you. Talk to, talk to each other. And then when someone stops talking, that's who's on the air. You'll know it when you hear the beep. Uh, what's up? You're Yo, on the capsize. Hey. What's up, man? Nothing, man. What are you doing? Hey, uh, what kind of videos y'all gonna have? Everything you want to see, man. Metal, rap, alternative, whatever. Hey, uh, can you put on uh, Sir Mix a Lot? Uh, you know, I was really gonna play Sir Mix a Lot, but um, I kind of screened the video, and there's a lot of um, these in it right there. A lot of those. Oh, dog. And, and, and we can't really play too many of those on TV. Oh, man. Yeah. I but, just got one more thing to say. Sure. It's like a, a snowman over here. Hmm. Hmm. Hello? Yeah? Yeah. Hey. 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 I'm looking to, you know, like, butt fuck a dog with a four-inch clit. You got one of those? No, man, but I would highly suggest you get some mental treatment. Hello, you're on Capsize. Hey, man. Hey. Uh, what kind of question was that, like, if you jack off, man? I don't know. What kind of question was that, asking what kind of question that was? Dude? Hello? Are you going to be on the four tonight, or... Excuse With cat size, is cat size going to be on until 4? Cat size is only on until 2, and raw time is on from 2 to 4. So seed's going to be on raw time? What's that, seed? Right. Yeah. All right, then. Well, it's a pansies in paradise. Pansies in paradise. <laughs> pansies in paradise. Hmm. I haven't quite heard of that one. Uh, we're going to take three more calls. Hello. Hello. Are you there? Mm, no. Oh, well, then never mind, then. I thought I'd call you anyway. <laughs> well, thanks. Is that all? I'm afraid so. Okay. Well, thanks for calling. That was real um, deep. Yeah, what's up? You're on Capsize. Hello. Oh, man, what a shame. What's up? Asshole. Thanks. Um, all right. Hamill on trial, people. Uh, very cool acoustic musician. Um, probably rocked you harder than any other band you've seen all by himself. Uh, so check it out. This is a little story about uh, growing up and um, forks and chicken. So watch it and listen to the words. We'll be back later with Raw Time. Thanks for watching Capsize every Saturday, 12 to 2, all Texas music. All right, see ya. You're laughed either. There's like 17 camera people. There's women with deli trays and makeup artists. There's like all kinds of people in the studio right now. Not a single one, not even a guffaw, not a chuckle, nothing. It was ugly. There was a gaffer and a key grip that almost smiled, but they were afraid of their losing their assistant simps, and they didn't do it. There was a best boy that, no, I don't know. I, I see the ends of movies. What do I know? Okay. When he was 15 years old, already balding, thin basketball etched frame, continuously, nervously banging against the box, only he could see. My friend Frank robbed a Kentucky Fried Chicken 
with a fork. He courted the girl that worked there in her off time. Her girlfriends thought she was way off to go out with a boy that talked like an electric circuit. They had it all worked out, except she must have got cold feet on the day of the robbery because she called in sick. At 3 o'clock in the afternoon, in the 85-degree blue-collar melancholy sun, disguised in his brother's red and yellow striped wool ski mask and armed with a stainless steel fork and 15 years of Catholic Italian longing, Frank ran into the Kentucky Fried Chicken in the corner of Butternut and Lodi, and finding no one behind the counter, yelled to the two people sitting at the booth, eating their original recipe breast. Everybody hit the deck, and they looked up at him, and they laughed. The manager sauntered O2 casually out from the back room. Frank screamed again, this time slamming his fork down so hard on the counter that he cut his own hand. And the three people saw the blood and the unrelenting fierceness in the eyes behind the ski mask. They knew he was serious. Through the dusty and streaked plate glass window, passerbys could easily have witnessed three people huddled on the ground and a masked Frank, fork gripped in midair as he jammed down the register button, grabbed $214 and fled. The first time he told me this story was 15 years later in a blustery evening we were broke down in the sub-zero snow the side of the Canadian border. That lonely orange U-Haul squeaking with every jet of northern icy wind provided a refuge in its cab for eight hours. Me and Frank in the front sharing cigarettes and later end butts and flannel shirts that had been discarded in earlier months, summer days. Come on, you snakes, the sun had called. Shed those skins. To life forgotten behind the seats, but now taken out, used as blankets and stuffed into door cracks to guard against the razor chill. After a few hours, the boredom peaked and the conversation snowballed and turned heated and sillier and confused and redeeming, and Frank told me about his Italian grandmother, how she'd stare at his carved body, every inch of which was covered with a thick rug-like hair. She'd shake her head Sicilian serious, and she'd moan in broken English, blood of the wolf, blood of the wolf. In that truck, Frank threw back his head and howled with laughter, and then he told me how he robbed a Kentucky Fried Chicken with a fork, and I screamed with laughter, a fork, a fucking fork, so hard I actually got warm for a few minutes. When they found us eight blue bone cold chill hours later, I was half asleep, but Frank was still doing imitations of his boyhood hero, ACDC's Bon Scott, yelling, and he made it out, put a bullet in the back, across the Canadian snow. eight years ago, Frank drives for somebody else now, and I moved to Texas. We couldn't make a go of our business in upstate New York, and the bank repossessed our truck. Last night when I was headed to the CD player to participate in some kind of Van Morrison segment, I thought I heard that truck outside beeping to pick me up. I rode in that truck for half a decade. I'd know the sound of it in Frank's loud, impatient black coffee and V2 horn blast, and I was ready to ride. But when I went to the window, there was no truck. As my eyes scanned the Texas horizon, I thought I saw running behind the trees a boy. He was wearing a ski mask. He was holding a fork. Yeah. 